To be the Commonwealth Champion feels pretty amazing. Um, it's something that I've always wanted and um, always strived to achieve throughout my career. And um, yeah, I've been to a number of Commonwealth Games now and have achieved a gold medal in synchro, but this is my first individual gold medal um, for Commonwealth Games. So yeah, it's a pretty amazing feeling. The Gold Coast Commonwealth Games was, um, yeah, pretty unreal. It was definitely the best games I've been to so far, um, probably Olympics included even. Um, yeah, the, the venues were amazing. We had a really nice outdoor pool and, um, you know, they did it, all, did it all up the event and the village was really cool. It was um, really nice accommodation, no issues. Um, yeah, good food and everything. So yeah, it was pretty much the whole package. <laughs> My um, event scheduling was probably one of the toughest actually that I've encountered before at this Games. Um, I had a really late final uh, one night for my first event. Um, so yeah, I pretty much had the whole day before that to kind of yeah, either stew about competition or um, yeah, what I did, which was try and stay busy. Um, and it was good, it was a synchro event, so my partner and I um, you know, went to the games room, went for a walk, played handball and did a bunch of um, cool things. But then, yeah, it was hard to then to back up the next morning. Um, we had a really early morning and then a day that pretty much went all day, including a final that was the same time, like late at night the next day. So the, the way that the event was scheduled, um, I was the second event that day. So um, before the final, I had to actually go there like yeah, four hours in advance, warm up then um, before they then held another event before mine. So in diving it's hard, you've got to kind of go warm up, um, do your dives and then you stop for like hours while another event runs and then you've got to get back in for like 20 minutes to warm up, then you've got to get out and march on. So it's very like, I feel like there's long periods where you wait and then there's like short periods where it's just rush, rush, rush and then wait again and then so it was hard to get into a rhythm, um, but yeah, I kind of just had to be prepared for anything and prepared for long days. And um, yeah, I think I found, found that trying to switch off in between was really good. And um, rather than having to switch on the whole day, it's not possible to kind of back up two days like that. So yeah, I was kind of just trying to relax in between, forget about it, go through you know a normal routine, or um, you know do something different, chat to people, and, and that sort of thing. Going into my final dive, I didn't actually know um, where I was placed or anything. I try not to follow the scoreboard or get too caught up in what the outcome will be or results. I actually um, prefer to focus more on the process and I have the same sort of comp routine every time and I um, take each dive as it comes and try and really stay in the moment um, of what I'm doing to get the best out of myself in that moment. Otherwise, when, you, when my mind starts wandering, um, thinking about you know other things or things I can't um, control, like a, the outcome. Um, yeah, then I don't tend to dive as well. So yeah, I guess for me, first dive, last dive, whatever dive, I, I just go in there with a clear mind, um, not thinking about the previous dive or the next dive, just in that moment, focusing on what, what it is I need to do and um, yeah, what I need to be able to execute that dive as well. Uh, yeah, when you hit the water, you can definitely feel whether you've done a good dive or not. Um, sometimes, you think it wasn't that good, but you know the judges are a bit generous, or the opposite as well. Um, but yeah, generally you know, yeah, you know if it's a good one. But um, yeah, I try not to get too caught up in the points. But yeah, when, when I in the final, I knew that uh, I'd at least after the last dive secured a medal, I was pretty happy. And then yeah, I had to wait for some of the other girls to dive before I knew that I won gold, which is pretty exciting. I didn't get too much time to celebrate. Um, I was pretty lucky I had a lot of sort of media commitments the next few days after, which is really great for diving because we're not a high profile sport in Australia. So um, any exposure that we can get is great. So yeah, I definitely kind of made the most of those opportunities. Had a lot of early mornings and was out all day, late nights and had to still go to the pool to support my teammates because um, yeah, that's the most important thing. So yeah, the, when I got home, I just pretty much crashed every night. <laughs> I had a party in bed, sleeping. <laughs> Recovery is key. <laughs>